So here in the garage is your furnace, Karen. The return air comes back from the building right here and comes up through the furnace. It's gas fired, so here's the gas pipe, and that'll heat the air in the winter. Now in the summer, we want to cool the air. So up inside this plenum is a cooling coil. You can see the refrigerant lines right here. Now, if we had done those motorized dampers I was talking about, I probably would have to cut into this soffit right here and into this ductwork and put one damper over here and another one over here. We're doing a different system, and I'm no expert at that, but I brought one. Jeff Schultz, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? Now, I haven't seen this before, but you've done a few of these, I've I hope? I've done about four or 500 of them. I would call him an expert. Yeah. <laughs> now, the key to it is this pneumatic damper. Okay. Boy, this looks just like a deflated peach ball. <laughs> Absolutely. That's going to go inside. Now, the damper goes inside the ductwork. Okay. And then, as it's fully deflated as it is now, mm -hmm. it allows the air to pass into the room, giving you air conditioning or heating, getting to the temperature that you okay. want. Okay. Well, I can see that happening. It would all come out here. Exactly. And then once the room reaches the temperature of the comfort zone that you set, the damper will fully inflate, sealing the ductwork. So there'll be an air pump that's going to inflate this. I'll be the air pump. Okay. And you can see. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is inflating. Once it's fully inflated, it completely seals the duct, allowing no air to pass into the room. Well, let's test that out. That's pretty solid in there. Exactly. Now, at each one of the registers in the house, we're going to install one of these pneumatic dampers. And they have to be supplied by these air tubes. They're going to run from the dampers back all the way to the furnace area. How are you going to run these tubes? We run them through the ductwork. Through the ductwork. Let me show you what I've done. We've got a temporary hole inside the furnace to which we've attached a takeoff. If you can hand me the flex right. tubing, we attach this to the takeoff, which the other end is attached to a suction fan, which will depressurize the ductwork, allowing us to run the tube through the ductwork. What we're going to do is run one tube at a time through the ductwork. In order to do that, we must seal the rest of the registers in the house except for the one duct we're working on. To do that, we use a piece of foam that's been cut the size to each register. We put that foam inside of a plastic bag, push it up inside the register, seal the end of the ductwork, and now this duct has been sealed. Now that we've sealed all the registers or ducts with the foam and the plastic, and we've attached our suction fan at the furnace, we've created a suction or reverse pressure throughout the duct system in the house. This is currently the only register open, as you can see with the suction or reverse pressure. So the air is going the opposite way, back towards the furnace. It's going from the register to the furnace. All right, so how do you fish it? In order to get the pneumatic tubing from the furnace to the register, we're going to actually send a fishing line from the register to the furnace. To get the line there, we use a plastic parachute made out of a plastic shopping bag. Shopping bag. I mean, this looks like the old parachute on my army guys, my little paratroopers. And that's what you're going to put down the duct. Exactly. i got to see this. With that suction, you feed it inside the ductwork and it pulls it right back to the furnace. Look at that. Now the parachute is in the flex duct. We gotta attach it from the takeoff. Now there it is. And pull our parachute out. And we've attached the tube to the connector. And now we're ready to pull the tube back to the register. Mm -hmm. So have we got all of our air tubes run, Jeff? Not quite, Rich. I have to plug one more into the manifold. How many tappings are there on the manifold? There are 24 available. So we could have 24 zones. How many are we using? We use 13. All right. Now, this manifold is really a distribution point to run to each of our pneumatic dampers up inside the building. If we inflate the damper, we close off the air from going into the room. And if we deflate it, we allow the air into that zone. Exactly. And that's a function of these two clear tubes that go over to our air pump power supply, which has an actual pump that has pressure and vacuum to inflate or deflate individual dampers. So are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Good. Now Jeff is just installing the grill in the master bedroom. With that we have all 13 pneumatic dampers installed and all the grills back in place. Now it's time to control the whole system. And In every room we're going to have one of these, a smart controller. It's a wireless battery operated sensor that can mount on the wall like this. What's nice is we don't have to run any wires back anywhere. We can put it here or we can put it right on a bureau like that. So this is going to give temperature feedback to the main display downstairs. Now, is this how I control the temperature in each room? It's actually how you can override the temperature. Say it was set for 76 and you wanted a cooler. You can move it to 72 and it would maintain that temperature in this room temporarily. But the real control is done down at the main display downstairs. Your main display is right down here on the first floor and Jeff has got the whole building configured. You can see on the screen right here, there's the 13 rooms are already in there. 
And we wouldn't want you to have to go around to 13 different clock thermosets and set the time and the temperature. So we really can configure any group we want together down here. Wonderful. So if I wanted to, I could put my sewing room upstairs with, say, the family room and the kitchen downstairs? You yeah. certainly can. We'll just choose the rooms you want, your sewing, your kitchen, and your family room, and that now becomes the zone you want and is configured as a zone. And that's really the unique thing about this system. Normally with zoning, we're limited by the way the ductwork was originally done by the first installer. We could never have a room way up there working on the same zone as one down here on the first floor. Mm -hmm.